More than half a million people in Florida have tested positive for COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. The worrisome milestone was reached today as testing ramps up back up after some sites were temporarily shut down. 43 testing sites statewide closed over the weekend, Monday and yesterday, over concerns about Tropical Storm Isaias. But there are concerns that another storm may be brewing as people return to testing sites. More than 5,400 new cases have been reported since yesterday, and the Florida Department of Health says there have been another 225 deaths statewide, bringing the total number to more than 7,700. In Miami-Dade County, there have been more than 2,000 new cases and 51 new deaths reported. In Broward, there were more than 900 new cases and 18 new deaths reported. Monroe County reports 15 new cases and no new deaths. And here are the latest COVID positivity rates. Miami-Dade County's day-to-day -day rate is up slightly to 15.5% with a slightly higher 14-day average. In Broward, positivity is down a bit to just under 9% with a 14-day average around 12%. The daily positivity rate in Monroe County is 13.6%, slightly higher than the 14-day average. CBS Force Ty Russell is at Hard Rock Stadium where rapid testing was offered for the first time today. Ty? Well, Elliot, and it's very quiet right now because the testing site right behind me at Hard Rock Stadium is closed for the day. It'll reopen at around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. But there has been a steady stream of cars here coming throughout the day because of rapid testing. Now we do want to caution you because we talked to an expert who told us the negative results from these rapid tests, the immediate results that you get here may not be 100% if they come back negative. More than 400 people have been given a rapid swab test at Hard Rock Stadium. That's the latest number as of three this afternoon. I've tested positive twice, and then now I'm trying to see if I can get tested again. I still have It's the first day of the testing site reopening since closing for Isaias. It's also day one of offering the rapid test. And getting a, a fast turnaround and a fast answer is one of the most important things we can do to get our outbreak under control. Dr. Eileen Marty is an infectious disease specialist at Florida International University. She spoke about the rapid tests. It's going to be good if it's positive, but if it's negative, you still have to send it out because there's a lot of false negatives with that test. People lined up early this morning at Hard Rock Stadium's testing site and Marlins Park, which is also offering the rapid test. Seniors 65 and older can get it regardless of symptoms. The same goes for children 5 to 17. However, if you're 18 to 64, you must have symptoms. The percent positivity is at 3. Um, then we're starting to actually suppress the outbreak. And that's what we really want. Even with lower testing numbers than this time last week, the positivity rate remained too high, according to doctors. Over the last three days, it has slowly gone up. The two-week average is 16 percent. More or less at a, at a steady rate. But it's a high rate, and it's a danger. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez is seeing a difference. He tweeted, we continue to see an encouraging decline in our positivity rate and hospitalizations. Numbers released Wednesday show more than 1,800 people in the hospital countywide. It's continuing to fall. Uh, people with underlying conditions, particularly the obese individuals, uh, we're, we're having a great challenge in stabilizing them. There are still 500 who are in the ICU and more than 300 are on a ventilator. It's the same day the statewide case count crossed half a million. It shows that we haven't been very good overall in controlling this outbreak in comparison to what other countries and some other states have done. So there's still more work to do to controlling this virus. Now the Miami-Dade Daily Dashboard is showing information about turnaround time. About half the tests are taking less than three days to get some results, and the other half, it's taking about four to seven days. We are live in Miami Gardens. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.